the right of the station precinct area, we have various farm machinery, which would have been used in that area from a very early plow to an early tractor to a very early combine. Here we are in the station precinct area with a small good good shed and the typical small country town station. And we have a little train and a little tractor I would say with a dumbbellung number plate. The engine was built from scrap metal and was donated in 2013. And this little truck to pilot its towing was donated by the Bennett family. And the tractor was built in 2012 and was also built from scrap metal. Just in front of the railway station we have the war memorial, lest we forget the sacrifices and a list of names. Maybe you have a name on this one. Also a small artillery gun. And we also have a rose garden as well that's been planted in the remembrance of those who sacrificed their lives. And as we continue walking, we have the Blue Bird, which was the boat that was used by Donald Campbell. To, to set the world record for the fastest boat across a body of water. So we'll just go have a look around it at the plaques as well. The specifications. Through to the 20th century celebrations. And the 50th anniversary. the map representing the Dumbalung Lake. Hello there mum. So what's your opinion on the K7 Bluebird? I think it's quite remarkable and the actual information that they've got here on it. I was just reading and photographing the plaques there about the world record and how it was a race to get it finished by the end of the year when he broke that world record. And then here, the one that it says, why did the duck cross the road? To find more information. Bluebird in Interpretive Centre, locating a community resource centre across the road. Dell's memorabilia and information plaques about more information about this incredible man, Donald Campbell. Outside the railway station is some information boards showing about the railways in town. And as we continue over, the beginning of the town of Dumbalung. 
showing the various buildings that used to be and what they were originally and also the very early farming days inside of the railway station is boards telling about local towns in the area Nippering Don't looking Wishbone Datane Narabin Um Bambe So there's a lot of useful information that you can read if you here. Also some information about Donald Campbell, Malcolm Campbell as well. Tea, anyone? Oh, the Country Women's Association in Dumbuyan, 1930 to 2013. For over 60 years, the CWA delivered tea to people in the Dumbuyan community. Through community, country woman, for country woman, by country woman. Day of dedication. Hey, we can hear the little bird up in the tree up there. Probably welcoming the well-earned tea and coffee. Guess it was more tea back in those days. the teapot that was used you know it's a lovely little picnic area replicas of the old machinery there were toilets and this part of the Dumbuyan historical walk where you can see the plaques of what used to be the town that it used to be.